Predators. Predators. Wow. Quite a good one there. Took a while for me to actually use that one. That, that was good. It goes I'm in Nick. my brain sometimes. I'm Dan. Mm-hmm. Over and over again. Over and over. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. <laughs> so what's this episode about? As a predator, we have to have a predator, correct? Yeah. And this is ourselves. So a lot of the times we trick Whoa. ourselves. Whoa. <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you just... Can you choose the word we're going to use? I feel like like that's like really tricky. You're like tripping on us. Delusion? Disillusion. Not disillusion? Delusion, or delusion? delusion. Oh, shit. I looked up the wrong thing. Yeah, you did. You most oh, certainly geez. did. Hmm. That's going to be a problem. No, that's okay, because well, I'm going to drive the delusion. Good. I'm glad you will. Well, Dan, could you help me with delusion? Yeah, it's is where you believe something is a fact... Without any veracity, without any truth. Well, there's some truth to it, isn't there? Like, you can create tiny truth nuggets, can't you? It goes against logic or reason. Mm. So, Does it? Is, is that is literally that the definition of delusion? I actually don't know. Yes. Yes, it is. Interesting. So it's literally something you believe so hard, even though there's, there's no real fact to back you up. You just yeah. keep pushing at it? contrary to any evidence that may appear wow so delusion is like believing a lie a little bit yeah exactly and i think this kind of like in in my own life where this has come up is kind of i guess the outcome of what i hope my life will be is that there's a giant Mm -hmm. like piece of delusion there like the american dream and the happiness you get from you know having nice shit (laughs) <laughs> it's like that shit doesn't really matter that much when you get to the end it's like once you achieve your goal it's just kind of like oh like I'm a, I'm I was or maybe still am deluded in that that respect where like the goals I have don't really make me happier but they seem to maybe the pursuit of happiness is what I'm after which makes me happy we're good lord this is gonna get so deep because like that's where i was gonna go like (laughs) is it the end goal or like the pursuit of the end goal that makes you happy and like that's like literally the last 10 minutes of the episode but let's just jump there now like so what's the goal we want to pursue things so that we can be happy like our hobbies uh knickknacks things we like uh things we want to get into collections we want to have a enough money and time to pursue those things correct Makes sense, yeah. right? Yeah, free to do what you want to do is the is the true goal. But I feel and, like and be able to afford like cool versions of that thing, right? Yeah, like you don't want the shittiest version. You want a nice. If you're in the Pre- audio file yeah. guy, like you, know, you want some nice speakers. Yo, you save up your money and get really nice speakers. Now you're an audio guy. You get really nice speakers and a really nice audio player and a really nice audio collection. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need money and time to pursue these things. Yeah. And on a small scale, you can do that. I think when you get to, like, the grander schemes, once you achieve all those little ones, you realize that for, like, 99% of people, it's going to take them until they're old. Until they're too old to enjoy things, then, like, the happiness gets sucked out. So the delusion keeps you going until you're, like, probably mid-40s. Too late. You realize... Like, I'm already oh on the decline. I'm already on, like, maybe you're on a plateau, but ain't getting any better. So, so what do you do? Like, is, I'll put it this way. Is delusion just a part of life? Like, you really will start to believe something so hard because what else are you going to do for 10, 15 years? I know we all say life is short, but life is long. Like, you add up all those times you're sitting in a dentist chair or, like, sitting on hold with a company – or driving into work and sitting at a red light, life is long. So to fill life, I think there has to be this weird thing where you convince yourself you're doing a thing. Yeah, like you say, important. like all this waiting, all this sitting around, all this doing stupid shit that you don't want to do is for a reason. For purpose. And that's delusion. Yeah. Yes. You're building up. You, you. Oh, don't worry. I know you're waiting a long time, but it's to build to a thing. And then what if there's no thing? So there was a movie, uh, What Dreams May Come, which uh, has uh, Robin Williams in it. 
and the female actress is uh, her name's Annie in the movie. I don't know what her real name is, but the whole premise is that she's a family. She loses her family except for Robin Williams, and then she can't cope with, I guess, the reality of the loss of her family. So she becomes delusional and believes that the only way to like escape her pain is through suicide. So she commits suicide and goes into like the an afterworld. So like the whole movie is like. Uh, I say like a Monet is like it's like almost like it's painted, and it's very like okay. offsetting. So it shifts your perspective, and you're kind of like off kilter every like every scene. It just seems like a little okay. bit skewed. And the whole purpose of the thing is that his wife was so delusional, and the only time that she was able to break out of her delusion was when he was able to be in the delusion with her and accept it. So they both accepted a life that was completely flawed, but because you're with somebody else, you both agreed to the it's reality okay. that you made. Yeah, and it's okay because I think a majority of human life is is like dependent on another person to validate what you know, what you think, what you believe. But I don't disagree with that at all. That's kind of weird. Like, as long as you're. Like, could you imagine if you'd done the dumbest thing in the world, like push a button every morning at 8.08 .08 p.m. or 8.08 .08 a.m.? Excuse me. Dharma initiative. And, like, people would people would cheer you and everything? Like, yes, a little bit. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. I, I, that's funny. I never finished Lost. I didn't finish Lost. I, uh, I got, like, four seasons in, five seasons in. doesn't make any sense. Don't worry. Okay, cool. <laughs> I kind of thought that might be where it was going. But uh, good show. I liked it up to yeah. where I was. Um, but how crazy would it be if there was some weird non-based on anything <clears throat> value you had to do and you did it every day and you were adamant about it and you worked hard at it and people were like whoa and everyone was like <laughs> yeah you do it brother and someone was like oh my god he's so brave he's still doing it like is that enough value I mean does it matter I have no idea. Is that what you're striving for if in life? Because like, like I mean, if you're a star hockey player, like actually playing a game doesn't mean anything. Genuinely. Hockey's stupid when you think about it. <laughs> Genuinely, <laughs> you're running around on blades, skating on ice, hitting a puck. At who picked the size of the net? Who picked the size of the puck? Who yeah. picked the size of the pads? Like it's all arbitrary. But we all agreed on it, and now you're the best at it. Yeah, and you like, have all these people cheering your name. You probably become oh, delusional. Nuts. There's like keeping your sanity when there's people like cheering you on. How do you, you not can't. love that? Your, your life is already dictated by it. You wake up at a certain time to practice for this thing and like meet with certain people and you train with the best trainers and you have different devices that no one else even has to be better at a game that someone made up that's arbitrary. It's nuts. So I mean, I don't disagree with you should do it if it's going to pay you, right? Or give you a laudish praise, but it's it's insanity and you push it to the nth degree. You become so good at it. You become so obsessed with it. You can become obsessed with anything. So this is where, like, delusion gets weird is that, like, I've played games where the game starts to warp your mind in a way that you like the game, so you like letting it warp your mind, so there are a few games, I'll call of duty for one, that we okay. both know in a way that I doubt most warped. people do. Yeah. We warped it. We yeah. warped that game, 100%. I knew where all the cover spots were. I knew how long the sprint button lasted. I knew how long grenades lasted. I could move in a certain way that would dodge bullets. Like, let's just be honest. But it had nothing to do with the game itself. I just learned the game in a different way. Feel it. You don't have to think about it. You just yeah. know. You know it's going to happen this way. You can tell by the way things like feel around you that oh that guy's going to show up in this corner ninety nine mm -hmm. percent of the time and you're going to be able to get him like you know otherwise you're going to play it differently. So that was one game. There's also for me personally it was like EverQuest, which I played way too much of. Bioshock, which was like way immersive. <laughs> There's Katamari, Damacy. It's the one where you roll up <laughs> all the pieces. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, a hundred percent. Did they did they ever make different versions of that game? I feel like they should have or did. I don't know, but the music in that I know the original was so good. Wait, <laughs> and how about just the dude smiling with his hands on his hips and like his package clearly visible? <laughs> you wearing tights. I love that game. Oh crap. Yeah, he was wearing his tights. 
Dude, I love rolling up like smaller things, getting bigger. And Doesn't bigger that and mess bigger. with your I mind? Just... Like I can't draw. Like after playing that game for like a straight week, I would drive around town and be like, "Oh, I wish I could roll up <laughs> those things pigeons right there." Could roll up. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I actually, yeah, I, I I agree with that. So, where does it even tie into disillusion? Like, cause or delusion? Excuse me. So, so oh, I love that game. So right so now. Good, so good. Like, we did an episode a little bit, and the beginning was Factorio. And, like, that's one of the games is, like, even while I'm, like, you can save during the game, and my saves are, like, please stop. Like, don't play this. Like, you are addicted to this <laughs> game. Stop now. <laughs> and is that I what would... you named them? <laughs> yes. That's hilarious. It's like, please help me. Someone help. And you're like, ah, I'm going to live with the old game today. <laughs> Having a nice one. Meanwhile, someone is screaming, stop, please stop. Yeah, That's hilarious. It's just, help me version one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you just, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you didn't rename the help me save. So, I mean, you could have been well. in that much duress. Yeah. You might as well. But there's something in that. So with like coronavirus, all this stuff going around, around and all the different like logic that just seems so flawed. Like, I see these other people that are obviously delusional, and it, like, it makes no sense to me. So, like, the sanity that I'm getting from this game is that, like, I can, like, add and remove things, and they're very precise and... Like, Controllable. It, you know the yes. results. Yeah. I also, like, I feel like I'm almost, like, like a borderline autistic because, like, the way I'm responding to it is very, like, has to happen. has to be this way. I have to check this. I have to, like, oh, wait, this thing is missed. Oh, i got to go check that. And it's just, like, a it's giant a, cascade of things a, that have to take It's an OCD-type reaction where <sighs> OCD isn't so much a disorder as it is a ability to predict long-term events chain reaction-wise. And when they don't go that way, it it messes with your mind. Probably. So you're like, if I do X, it does Y, it does Z, it should do A again. And then we should trigger B and C. And when it doesn't, it's like, fuck. Fuck. Like, what did I do? Fuck. And it's like, I got to do it again so that X does this. But it's almost like a grand play, like a, a Rube Goldberg machine where, like, mm-hmm. you've created all these different things and you've literally thought them out. So you put some time into it. You put effort into it. You set it up perfectly. It should work perfectly. Why didn't it? Like an angry thing. Like yeah. it's almost an angry thing. You know what I mean? Like I think that's what you're feeling, which isn't – is that OCD? I, I guess it is, but not really. Is that like borderline autism? I, I have no idea. They're related to it. Like do you know what I mean? How they yeah. touch on it? Yeah. Weird. So this is where it's predatory on yourself is that – like mm-hmm. this game, it's procrastinating. It's probably not great for me, and I get way into it, and I'll spend, you know, I'll ignore important things long. to do it. And this is borderline. Hey, yeah, your children addiction. stuck. Yeah. I think your one kid starved to death, right? That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. It only took him like three hours. I don't know. That's impossible. I don't know how. But you you can let yourself be delusional if it makes you happy. So this is the point where, like, I think. Delusion is actually like reality is when you realize that you'd rather be doing something else because you're happier doing that other thing, which is not real. But the the fact of the matter is that the, like how much of what you do is real. So doing the thing that makes you happy, even though it may not be real, it might be a good delusion. What's real? I mean, what's the alternative? Oh, <clears throat> instead of working in the coal mine, is that real? I mean, you're doing that for someone else to make money. I mean, you never would have went to a coal mine to mine coal by yourself. Just casually. So, yeah, <laughs> just going to the coal mine, honey. <laughs> Thought I might mine some minerals. You know what I mean? Like, get my old pickaxe no... out. Shine it, shine it up. All right. <laughs> shine in the pickaxe, honey. <clears throat> so whatever you're doing is almost like, in a video game sense... Acquiring skill points, acquiring mm-hmm. raw materials, and you're doing that in real life too. So, what's to say it's more real to do it in a video game form versus a what your boss wants you to do it form? Because your boss is going to ask you to do some bullshit mining on Salesforce or bullshit calling out on these accounts or bullshit. Mm-hmm. Like, there's always bullshit. It doesn't. None of it's kind of real. Yeah, which. Which layer of bullshit do you want to buy into? Exactly. 
Which one? Which layer? Kind of, are, which layer are you comfortable with? Which layer of bullshit are you doing today? What would you say though to someone who's there's an argument to be made where I'm utilitarian. I think the greater amount of good for the greater amount of people, greater amount of good for the greater amount of people is mm-hmm. the greater good. The argument against utilitarianism is a matrix machine where we're all in these matrix machines that insert into our brain and make us live these really good lives. But we sit in a chair and we never move. Sounds great. If they're happy, if they're happier that way, is that the better way to live? If you can avoid reality, is it better? Yeah, yeah well, for if, sure. If you're still providing good for other people. They have nutrients. Yeah. Overall good I don't know. Is they're, more? No, they're tied into a machine. I mean, that machine's literally just for them. It's an entire universe built into a, you know, database who knows? Cloud. It's a matrix. Yeah. I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's the, it's the <laughs> iCloud. No one knows 100% how it works. It's a lot of networking and, you know, coding. Yeah. A lot of magic. Is it, is it better to leave the person in the matrix machine or wake them up and have them experience life for real? This comes back to you needing other people. So eventually, you're going to come out of the delusion and what you put into it will be, you know, it'll evaporate. It'll disappear. But if you can share these experiences with other people, multiplayer games, or actually have a significant <laughs> other. <laughs> Did, you just, Did you just goddamn say, hold up, hold up. Like, I thought you were going to say fall in love with other people and like human touch. And you were like, multiplayer games. <laughs> like, holy shit. You just blew it out of the water. That's amazing. I think I know your answer. That's incredible. Oh, that's, yep. Shit. A multiplayer games it is a multiplayer matrix. Yeah, we got uh, it. We don't need we don't need people. That's that's pretty good. I think we can end there. No. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, you can Damn. you can make a life. You can make a real life. Aside from playing video games, but aside from being in whatever like belief system you are in, I guess you could be delusional with some other person. Uh, and that's okay as long as you're not hurting other people. Uh, but eventually, I guess you have to realize that there's like a base understanding, and if you're ignoring that, it's probably not the best course of action because it's probably going to make you more delusional in the end. Yeah. Multiplayer. I don't games. disagree. Yeah. Multiplayer games. It is. <laughs> We're all playing multiplayer, folks. <laughs> or as my son calls it, Minecraft Two Match. So nice. Wow. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, to sum it up, I would say everything's bad, and we're all share the experience. Deluded. Yeah, but share the experience. Predators. <laughs>